This is a video on how to set up the airbrush, airbrush or copper plate, and then clean up the airbrush. Begin with filtering out the Lascal Alcotent spray resist. Just pour enough in there to put about a half to three quarter full of that jar, filtering out any little bit of debris that could cause problems with the uh, material moving through the gun. So the filtered material gets placed into the container here. You just don't want to overfill it. It dries quickly, so we're going to move this to the sink and warm the cold water. It doesn't really matter. We're going to clean out our filter so it doesn't dry in there. And then let's set up the airbrush. We'll go ahead and put the cap on the lid. There's a vent hole on top, and you want to make sure that's clear. So with the airbrush, I keep it in a bottle with denatured alcohol. Pour that out. The components are four. I'm leaving that little washer on the jet, the cone, then that nut. So you take the nut and the cone, and you align them So that they're in the gun like that. And this allows us to put the jet or the needle right through there. And begin to seat it, push and thread it in there. I keep them separated from each other, otherwise they'll lock on each other. work them together. So that first nut, that nut, which is right against the plastic, is what seats it and locks it in. This cone stays loose and movable so we can control the flow of Aquatint spray. So, we'll connect it in here. And we, uh, if you're right-handed, Three fingers support, one finger under the badger name, and then your thumb is the trigger. By opening up the, the jet, we put more spray out, and by closing it down, we put less spray out. So let's begin by moving some spray through. The on switch for the compressor is on the back of the unit right here. Open it up, get some spray going through it, you can see it there. And then I want to dial it down a little bit. Now, for the plate, we'll put it on the stand here. And we're going to coat it four or more very light coatings. The newsprint is clean, so we'll be able to tell how much we're putting on there. away and I am keeping the gun perfectly perpendicular to the surface and I'm spraying dropping halfway down spray halfway down spray halfway down
I hold the uh, the gun in upright, and the plate is uh, has a light coating of the Aquatent. Face on, you don't see anything, but if you get an oblique angle, you can see the uh, you can see that blue coating on there. It's a, See a little bit of that blue. If you think you need a little bit more, you put more. But here's the plate protected zone, and you can see what's actually on that plate. And that's pretty good. That's kind of what we want. Now this plate needs to be stop using the stop out. The edge needs to be painted and protected. And then this is ready for the Aquatent uh, step biting process. Now, to clean the system up, the I will put some water in a the same Pyrex cup, and I'm going to this can be poured back. And we're going to turn the unit on, point it towards the vent, and then put your finger over the end and watch it. It'll back flush. set of airbrush cleaning tools and these are really handy for cleaning the uh, interior parts of the uh, both this lid and the gun components. I use alcohol and kind of go through here and make sure there's nothing collecting up in here. You can actually use it as like a scrub tool too. And you have different sizes. literally go there and you can then you can see the spin on the wire and use that to your advantage for pulling it out. Let's go ahead and pour up our solution. And we'll put this bottle, we'll rinse the this container out. Now the gun. It's basically reverse order, so we have to thread the needle in to make room to thread that one out, the interlocking nut. And we just simply press the assembly out of the plastic housing. And then these, that comes out, drop it right in my alcohol, drop that in the alcohol. This gun here also needs to be cleaned where the, uh, the jet moves through the tip. Sometimes I'll even clean this area out. If we start to collect any acrylic in that, it can cause it to be stiff. Okay, so now for the components here. Now one at a time. Again, there are four. This one's really easy to lose, that washer, and it goes on this piece here, so just kind of scrub the outside. Get the tip scrubbed off. Get the smallest wire, and this will go through right where the, you can see it coming out there. And that's where the spray moves through that, so you know, if you're not cleaning it, you'll clog it. It'll clog up and you won't have any anything moving through there. And I'm gonna go ahead actually and put my washer on so it don't so I don't lose it. So this nut here too, same thing. It starts to collect a little bit of that aquatent spray, so you have to clean it every time. And then the needle, or the cone, so 
same thing. And then the smallest brush, you see it'll go right through there. That's what you want to do is make sure that's all cleaned out. And I am I'm going to get some fresh alcohol to pour into this jar. So we'll fill this with alcohol, close it up, and put our tool back. I also cover the filter, again, just to keep dust from settling in there. And that's it.